this is kind of where that reputation and continues here in the West of the rugged individualism. The idea that the American, uh, especially as we were continuing to expand West, loved their independence and loved their ability to run their own lives without a whole lot of people telling them what to do, where to go, and how to live. Uh, I can describe the opportunities and challenges of life in the West in the late 1800s and early 1900s uh, for various Americans, minorities and whites alike, uh, and Native Americans using primary and secondary documents. So the Dawes Severalty Act, uh, the Dawes General Allotment Act is sometimes the full title of the legislation if you want to talk about that, but the, the date is 1887. <clears throat> this is a huge turning point when it talks about the relationship between the federal government and the Native Americans. Because before this, what was the federal government's policy towards Native Americans? The reservation system was what was used before the Dawes Act, to where literally you're cornering the Native American tribes into specific regions. And the Native Americans are typically in the reservation system before the Dawes Act allowed to live however they wanted to live on that land. Okay? They could live their traditional tribal way of life. They were not forced to live any particular way. But as the decades wore on, and more and more people moved west, and you see more and more images of capitalists who are slaughtering the buffalo, who are taking land, and who are building railroads and changing the ability for Native Americans to live the way they had always lived. Believe it or not, and this is important to understand, the Dawes Act was not meant, or I guess I could say, it was not, its intention was not punishment. Believe it or not, the people who created the Dawes Act were generally viewed as people who were sympathetic to the Native Americans. How might that be true? They viewed their way of life as superior and felt that they should Who's be they? assimilated. Who's they? They as in the white culture, okay. sympathizers, and they um, felt that the Native Americans should be assimilated into their culture because they felt that that would be a better lifestyle for them and they would be more advanced. Yeah, very good. So, so these, the people who created this piece of legislation said, all right, Native Americans, we're seeing whites and American culture and the American way of life swallowing you up. You are becoming more and more isolated. Your ability to live the way you've always lived is getting less and less possible. This, this becomes the official government policy towards Native Americans after this. And it's assimilation, forced assimilation. In many cases, young Native Americans would be taken uh, off of their lands, put into boarding schools. There was a famous one in Pennsylvania that literally had inscribed above their door, kill the Indian, save the man. <laughs>